What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Jay Meanie Review. I'm Josh Meany, co-host of The Power Bite. It's been a while. But I'm back. Today we're talking about Captain Marvel. I'm going to give my Captain Marvel review. Look, overall, I like this movie. This is a spoiler review. If you haven't seen the movie yet, don't fucking watch this shit. Because I'm going to spoil the fuck out of it. One huge thing about Captain Marvel that really pissed me off, I don't like how Nick Fury gets his eye fucked up. Like in Winter Soldier, he said, oh, I, um, last time I trusted somebody, I lost an eye. You're telling me that somebody was a cat? I mean, I know it was a fucking it was an alien cat, you know, and did crazy shit. No, no, I'm not down with that. I like Brie Larson. She was... She was kind of a bitch, you know, a little bit. She was kind of like, um, like Doctor Strange was. Like the beginning half of the movie, it was just fucking prick. Like, kind of hard to like the guy. As the movie went on, you know, I started to like her more. She's so fucking powerful. She's so fucking powerful. When Endgame comes, does she need anyone's help? I mean, she took on an entire, like, bunch of spaceships, entire invasion before it even got to Earth. She just took that shit out. Back when she was there in fucking Avengers, the first one. She would've took care of that shit like that. I really liked the twist. The twist with the scrolls. It turned out being kind of good. I mean, would you really say they're good guys? I don't really know. Because, I mean, they did some fucked up shit. But they turned out to be not half bad. And I loved Ben Mendelsohn. Oh my god. He was he was my favorite part of that movie. I liked him more than I liked Brie Larson. Like, I think somebody else maybe could have played Captain Marvel maybe a little better. I, I don't know. The Marvel thing. Like, Marvel in the comic books is a guy. And they just made it a woman, which was another twist. And it was kind of like, uh, okay. You know, I totally thought uh, Jude Law. I thought Jude Law was going to play Marvel, but he didn't. I love the post credit scene. Obviously, both of them. <sighs> like, she just show, she's going to show up. What's going to happen? What What is going on? She's looking... They called it S.H.I.E.L.D. already, and from what I know, they didn't call it S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, in Iron Man 1, remember they said the whole fucking name out, and when, uh, I think Tony Stark said, oh, it's kind of long, um, Coulson was like, yeah, we're working on it. Well, I mean, that's not huge, but it's a little bit of a continuity issue, and then, I mean, back to Nick Fury's eye. Like, let me bring up the picture of his eye in Winter Soldier. Fucking cat did that. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not sure if she really remembers completely who she is, you know what I mean? She still has bits and pieces, but I don't know if she got the full fucking thing. I don't know if she knows who the fuck she is still. She went out on that adventure, I guess, to find the squirrels are going to find somewhere to be safe, you know, away from the Kree. That's what she's been doing for fucking 20-something years, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the next Captain Marvel movies, like Captain Marvel 2, will show what she's doing when she's out there, you know what I mean? Or they'll take place after Endgame, but I can't wait to see her in Endgame. I really can't. The movie wasn't perfect, though. It wasn't. There was things here and there, like the relationship with her and Nick Fury, like, she, he ended up trusting her pretty fucking quick. Time and get the fucking movie going, whatever, but I, I didn't really buy it, you know? The CGI on Nick Fury and on Coulson was unbelievable. Yeah, guys, uh, overall, I really, I liked Captain Marvel. It stood up good with the other Marvel movies, but it's not like... It's not a Civil War. It's not a Black Panther. I maybe put it with like Ant Man. You know, it was good. Crazy scenes, crazy action scenes that I really like. Overall, look on my other reviews, I'm doing a scale of one to five. I'm not doing that anymore. It's too fucking close. I gave what I gave. I gave fucking like Bumblebee a fucking like four out of five, but I wouldn't give it an eight or a nine out of ten. But you know, it's too fucking close. Now I'm gonna do a scale of one to ten. Out of 1 to 10, I give Captain Marvel, I give it a 7. It was good. There's a lot I liked out of it. Some things I didn't like, but the good outweighed the bad, you know what I mean? Captain Marvel, it's good, guys. Go. I was about to say go see it, but this is a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen it, I must have just pissed you off. I just spoiled the whole goddamn shit. Be sure to check out the Power Button Podcast every Tuesday. Check out the J Meany review whenever I drop the shit. Check out Darren Unfiltered whenever he drops his shit. And yeah, till next time.